today is not just for dog owners, but for all people. So Justice, the other day I uh, saw a dog in the street and I went up to him I'm like, Hi, how you doing? And he growled at me and I didn't know what I did wrong. So I'm just curious to know, is there anything I should do in the future when I see a new dog? As we mentioned before in a previous video, not all dogs like all people. And I myself grew up around dogs and I didn't realize that this can kind of be a scary greeting to dogs, especially if you don't know what their experiences have been with people in the past. So what you want to do is crouch down on the same level as the dog, and instead of facing them straight on, give them your side. Offer them your hand, let them sniff it, see how they react. If they're not interested in even sniffing you, they're probably not interested in saying hi. Talk to them in a nice, soothing voice, and if they seem receptive, then pet them. And then you can probably even start to get excited. Our trick today is wave. It can be a little tough for my short-legged dog, but he'll give it a shot. Make sure you watch the video on shake first because your dog needs to know shake in order to do wave. I'm gonna start off with my dog facing me. I'm gonna ask him for a shake and then I'm gonna turn my hand right side up and then say the word wave. Shake, wave. For the next step, we're not gonna ask for shake anymore. We're just going to use the wave prompt. And we're going to see if we can get your dog to offer one paw in the air and we'll move our hand out of the way really quickly. Wave, yes. Wave, yes. Once your dog will offer his paw at the wave prompt, you want to see if you can try to get him to give you two paws up in the air. The best way to ensure this happening is maintain contact between your paw and your hand for a couple seconds before you give him a treat. Wave, good boy. So he's holding it there for a couple beats. Then you can try to take your hand away and even add a little shake to it. Wave. Yes, what a good boy.